good afternoon and welcome back to another vlog here on Coaster Crazy YouTube channel. Yes, uh, you've seen the tile, I don't actually know of yet what to put as a tile because we're not purely here just for Barry Island Pleasure Park. There's also another caterpillar coaster, cred, that I need to get down on the promenade. There's a little area there. Uh, obviously we're with Tilly, she's, she's here somewhere. She's, she's there. <laughs> Um, so we'll have a walk around the beach, get something to eat. So it's probably got to be uh, an afternoon in Barry Island. But yeah, aerospace, brand new ride. I actually have VIP tickets for that. I've just screenshot it on my phone, so show them for that. Waited a while to get on there. Did Airborne at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland, which was also at Tilburg. There's also another brand new credit here for me to get on. If it's running, I don't really know, but it's five, t uh, three tokens. So it looks like a five. That three tokens. There's another runaway train. Oh god, I'm fed up with these runaway trains. But yeah, caterpillars, runaway trains, they're all the same thing, aren't they? Really? Oh, is she? Put it down. You don't know where that's been. But yeah, we're in Barry Island in South Wales. We love South. Well, we love Wales. Full stop. To be honest. Um, like I said before in previous videos, I can't remember if I did a vlog. Did I do a vlog from Land Dudno camp? Oh, I thought I just did some Insta stories. Land Dudno is one of our favourite places. Um, like North Wales is really pretty. South Wales is pretty nice as well. You've got Tenby up the road. Obviously Oakwoods, not that far away. Alright oh, Dave? You right, you're yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, it's Henry in there, is there, is yeah, it? I know him. Yeah, mate. Oh, God, he wants me to come in. He wants me to come in. He'll say hello. <laughs> all right. Can we tell me what you're up to? How all are right, you? boss, mate. Hey, hey, is it all good? Yeah, all good, hey, then. Yeah, I know you were last year. Yeah, coasted crazy. That's it. That's I, came, I, I came last year. I did. I thought I, I, I thought I know, no, no, but I know you, and I, got, I was thinking, well, yeah. Anyway, what do you think of this year? What do you think about our uh, new We've just got here, yeah. I've, I've, I've come down. Yes. Two and a half hours to come and ride your very small, very small ride. Your, br your brand new, oh, right. very small ride. It's the biggest thing <laughs> in the whole world. It is indeed. They don't make any bigger than that. Oh, one. they don't make... It, it certainly caused a lot of interest. Uh, I bought a lot of new rides over my time, you know, being the age I am. I never had so much interest shown in that ride. It's incredible. Even as far as coach companies come. Wow, coach. really? Oh yeah, from the Midlands. I went to come last week from Tanda for the close the road. And uh, they were very disappointed. They were diverted to another amusement park yeah. not far from here. And they said they weren't, they was not very happy with that one. <laughs> and uh, they, they, anyway, I'm giving them a free ride. Everything's okay. But um, they did sort of miss it because the road was closed for three hours. Oh, no. And it was sad for a bit because they came from the Midlands yeah. here to go on that ride. Oh, wow. But when you go on it, I'll, I'll get you a ride on it. I've and, got, I've got the, uh, the I, I was sent the tickets anyway. Oh, yeah, the VIP oh, ticket, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah, I got the ticket. Yeah. Well, we're here for an afternoon. I've got to go down on the prom. Yeah. This is a caterpillar down there I need to go and ride. Yeah, they, they and then you've that. got the runaway train that is, yes. it is new as well, so I need yeah. to ride that. And then obviously I'll get on. The runaway train, we, we're just waiting for the paperwork for that. Ah, uh, it's, it's not running. There. It came from um, Turkey, and we wait there to put a design review on it and a test on it. We did yeah. meet with David Geary. He's supposed to be in it yesterday, too. Uh, but, but we, we, we dared use it until we... Right, okay, okay. Right, so, so you get... Yes, yeah, so if, you, if you are wanting to come down, like I said, there is the new runaway train, as he's just mentioned, they haven't got the paperwork for it yet. So yeah. it should be up and running soon. Yeah, it, it, uh, hopefully it'll be going on Monday. Monday, um, there you go. We were hoping to go for the weekend. Yeah. Because we, we're sort of changing this park around a bit we've got an, uh, the wacky gold mine coming in oh really which is being built at the moment it's, it's not a new one it's a very old one yeah but it's one of those things you love yeah people love it 
you know you got the miners pulling themselves yeah. up on the ropes you got the all the lights going off you got the dynamite going off you got the the, the lights you know it's like a ghost train wow into a wacky coal mine i looked at it seen it fell in love with wow. you had to okay. bring it back to barry it, it was one of those things i thought yes i got a home for you yeah where you're going to be loved because where it was in Walton Pier for some Oh years yes, now. we've been on it, yes. We heard all the rides of Telling Taken out of there. Yeah. Yeah, it's but a what, really good ghost train that, yeah. yeah. So it was there and it was getting a bit, you know, beyond sort of um, people caring for it. Yeah, I know. Well, you I mean. thought give it all love and uh, we'll, we'll we'll have a lot of happy people going oh, on. Brilliant. Because it, it's been around a long time. I'm sure millions have gone on it. Okay, come in a bit more. <laughs> so millions have gone on it yeah. and, and had great fun from it. Yeah. But it was sort of sad and it was going to scrap it. And so I went there and we're rebuilding it now. But we got so busy since we had that machine. Yeah. We just hadn't had time to finish it off. Right, there you go. The, uh, the owner of, well, said park, plus he owns another few things as well. Uh, it's uh, Henry Danter. Um, yeah, it's. Um, I could do a whole vlog just with him talking to me. But if you got the gist of what he was saying, yeah, basically the runaway train. I, uh, <laughs> the runaway train um, isn't ready yet because they need the paperwork for it. So he's just been telling me loads of stuff. Yeah, the um, the, the wacky, well, the crazy gold mine or whatever it was called, the ghost train that's at Walton Pier or was at Walton Pier. He's bought that. That's coming here. Because um, all the rides that were at Walton Pier, well, Walton on the Naves, they've all gone, it's closed down now. So, yeah, he's bought some rides from them to come here, uh, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, that footage went on it, so I might have to cut some of that out. <laughs> I'll cut it down. <laughs> um, he was like, yeah, offering me all sorts of stuff. And he said there's a, they've had a lot of enthusiasts come down here. and. Yeah, so I hope you could hear what he was saying, bless him. He's a really nice guy and he's done well for Barry as well, adding all the rides in here and, you know, it's not majorly busy at the moment because it's like Sunday afternoon, uh, well, more Sunday evening now. But yeah, loads of good rides here. you got the PWS Super Trooper and the, uh, the what do you call it, the Mondale Top Scan over there and the Matterhorn and... Yeah, I don't know how they could fit any more rides in here, to be honest. Well, I mean, what they could do is, is sort the car park out, because the car parking, it's not the best, but they've got a lot of stuff in there, like uh, parts of rides and things like that as well. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> cool, the, uh, yeah, so the future's bright for this, uh, for this place. You got the KMG freak out there as well. It's Coaster Crazy on YouTube. Coaster Crazy, you're on it, there you go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Coaster crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Coaster crazy. <laughs> right. Let's um, maybe get something to eat and go on some more rides down here. Uh, like I said, it's a bit more of a an afternoon in Barry Island because you got a little park just down here as well. So if I just did this as a Barry Island pleasure park vlog and then add stuff to it and then going over there. I don't think there's enough to warrant a full vlog on its own because I'm only going on the Caterpillar. But yeah, it's nice here. You know, I do like a, a good seaside town. And so does Tilly. Um, you got loads of arcades and you're... Not, not Costa coffee, but you got coastal coffee. <laughs> coastal, crazy. coastal crazy. I did actually write down a list of different YouTube names I could... Like, if I would ever change this channel or start a new channel. But yeah, one of them was coastal crazy i think that was more martin's idea that one but yeah coastal coffee <laughs> awesome yeah there's loads of stuff to do here smugglers cove adventure golf course is just here as well again a really well themed crazy golf dogs aren't allowed in those so that's the only problem <laughs> she'll probably run off chase it yeah yeah she, she just spotted something yeah oh it's one of our dream cars isn't it yeah we love these Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, the engine in the back. It's an Audi R8. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. I love this grey as well. I like the carbon fibre. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if that's your car, if you're watching, yeah, very nice, very jealous. Eh? 
Oh no, you're all right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we've got the dog, you see. You can't come in with the dog. <laughs> yeah. All oh, right, well, you can go in with dogs, but yeah, she's just offered me a, a free vlog, a free game of golf for the vlog. But yeah, thank you very much anyway. Yeah, happy days. Um, always helps to walk around with a camera, doesn't it, sometimes? But yeah, Barry's really nice. We haven't ever really spent that much time here. It's the sort of place where well I actually I got because I was working yesterday I didn't get home till half three and I thought well we might as well come tomorrow uh, well yes tomorrow yesterday afternoon and stay in the area and then we could have just come here quite early but um, unfortunately our cat is is starting to go out a lot more and she didn't actually come home last night um, and she didn't <laughs> we were just about to leave and we were like, oh, there she is. So, yeah, we waited for the cat to come on, bless her, because we didn't like leaving her out overnight. Um, but it's it's absolutely stunning here. I'll, I'll stop filming myself for a second. We got, like, say, you got the Smuggler's Cove here as well. Anyone that's a fan of uh, Gavin and Stacey, obviously, that was filmed here as well. I think there's a, something to do with Nessa down here, but I never actually watched Gavin and Stacey. Really pretty down here, really nice beach. Again, I'm not sure if dogs are allowed on the beach. And it's um, it's quite busy, it's nice to see. Um, so we'll get something to eat first, maybe. Or should I get on the cred first, just in case? I'll do the cred, I'll get the cred out of the way, the caterpillar, and then we'll go and get something to eat. So, um, yeah, so it's basically this little promenade park that they've got here. I think it's, it's, it's a separate thing to uh, Barry Island over there. I mean, the whole thing's Barry Island. So yeah, I'll go over and get the cred out of the way. Um, yeah, so I've booked Florida. The flights are booked. The hotel is booked, which I paid £268 for. It's the Clarion Inn. Uh, if you watch Theme Park Worldwide, Sean actually stayed in the same hotel earlier this year. And I didn't realise until I'd booked her. I thought, I'm pretty sure someone I know stayed there before, but it's right across the road from Icon Park where the Orlando Wheel and the Merlin attractions and stuff are so that's quite handy but yeah that's one of the cheapest hotels I've ever paid for especially for seven nights as well so yeah it's a fun park Barry Island Promenade and we'll go and have a look and see how much tickets are for this it's basically just a, a few kids rides the trampolines uh, the little carousel thing there the caterpillar and a couple of inflatable attractions the dune buggies and the bouncy castle it looks all right here. I mean, this is a brand new coaster. I think it was, it's been the only place it's been. To. Oh, there are three tokens per person. So I'll go over and see how much it is. Oh, 120 per token. So £3.60 a ride. Uh, you can get 10 tokens for a tenner, which is the standard sort of thing they do everywhere now. Uh, 20 tokens for £20, 30 tokens for 30 uh, and 50 tokens for £45, saving you 15 quid. That's not too bad at all. Well, I just said to all right, so there you go, I've got me uh, three tokens. Oh, I'll just drop one on the floor. No! I went under the barrier. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. <laughs> drop, don't drop your tokens. There we go, brand new coaster. Oh, it's one of the Goobin part ones. Cheers, thank you. That's one of the ones that I have to squeeze onto. Yeah, this, I mean, this is what I know I keep going on about it, but it's these lap bars because there's two bars in the middle. It's quite hard to put your, your legs there. Never mind, it's another credit. I think I just normally sit on this one here. Yeah, they're a bit of a. God. <laughs> so you've got to sit in, cross your leg, put one leg through the middle, and then try it. Well, I'm in anyway. I'm in, I'm in. Right, oh, here we go. Oh, it's smooth already. But it's about to be, it's pretty much brand new, this. So this is Coaster Credit. <laughs> Five, uh, 593. This would, this would have been nine, well, either 993 or 994. I'll try to make sure I've got enough so I've got 600 creds by the time I get to Florida. 
or oh, try and get a 600th cred in Florida. Hopefully Velocity Coaster or Iron Guazi. Here we go. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yeah, very nice. Oh, it's got a lift up into the thing. Oh yeah, that's that's new. Yeah, I didn't realise that. Yeah, so basically when it comes down the drop there and it's like it goes back up on itself. It's like a slightly different design. Yeah, it's lovely here. <laughs> we'll get something to eat after this. Like I said, this doesn't really warrant its own vlog, unfortunately. So yeah, it's an afternoon in Barry Island. <laughs> that is. Here we go. Awesome. Oh wow. They just seem to get smoother and smoother these caterpillars. Or oh, if you are American, wacky worm. Oh lovely. Really nice. It's a bit cloudy though now. But it's nice and cool. Just how I like it. 22 degrees not 30 degrees like it has been I've just I've, I've been dying in this heat here we go Whoa. awesome you know it's coming it's one of the nicest caterpillars I've ever ridden that that was lovely that nice and smooth apart from his brake was a bit sharp then right there you go one of the, probably the smoothest caterpillar coaster I've ever been on. And it's, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very good. It does say family coaster down here, or family roller coaster. And it does say uh, family coaster up there, but on according to the RCDB, it's just called coaster. Um, so yeah, I don't, I think it's family coaster. That's what I put down on my list anyway. I'll see what coaster counts put it down as. But yeah, it's um, been operating since, not that long ago 2002 Goofum amusement rides and it was probably the best one of those I've ever been on it's got the Goofum one anyway and it manufactured 2022 so brand new coaster yeah it was all right was that pretty cool I'm looking around there's people like people do look at you quite weirdly when you walk around with a camera in your hand yeah I don't want to film too much of the beach but yeah it's very nice I don't know if yeah dogs are not allowed mm. All oh, right, yeah, off peak only. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that, but never mind. She's been on a few beaches. Right, we're going to get something to eat now. But yeah, if you're wanting something to do this summer, you've got Barry Island Amusement Park and the Promenade Park as well. So uh, yeah, not bad. Get yourself a couple of credits anyway. Yeah, it's all right down here. Like I said, it's not too hot and there's plenty of places to get food here as well so you've got O'Shea's fish and chips you got Boofies I like the name of Boofies how many fish and chips is it? there's three of them in a row here that's weird it's like being in Morecambe <laughs> just a line of fish and chips well there isn't but you know what I mean Seaside Towns so you got O'Shea's you've got Boofies world famous can't be that world famous I've never heard of them but that looks all right sorry no burgers no hot dogs can't go in there Tilly likes a burger. She'll have to get Tilly a burger. She's gone off sausages. You've got fish and chips there as well. Hmm? Yeah, there's no one in that one. Yeah, that's it. But there's arcades here as well. Amusement park, amusements, yeah, scoops. <laughs> Big seagulls. Oh! <laughs> No, it is, yeah. Be careful. <laughs> she almost went flying then over here. Over over edge. <laughs> right, let's get some fish and chips. Maybe I think maybe the one in the middle. The one that does no hang on. See if the one at the end does yeah, the first one, the one that does burgers. Oh no, they they look really nice what they've got. Right, so we ended up going to Old Shea's for the, the fish and chips and yeah, I got um, chips and curry sauce. 
which is very nice but uh, yeah one tip don't sit outside over there because you get seagulls pooing on you so yeah i've just had a right hissy fit off camera <laughs> yeah, i can believe it it's just like you've got a bit of food and all these seagulls came out of nowhere and they just pooed on my shoulder so i had to run in and get some um wipes but yeah these chips are very nice by the way like really really nice i've got the irish uh, curry sauce yeah they're not bad not bad at all very nice yeah the uh, chips were very nice apart from being pooed on by a seagull <laughs> moaning <laughs> i'll have to tell you what i threw the chips on the floor as well uh, but yeah nessa's slots here let's go and see if we can find her nessa I mean, I know a bit about the Gavin and Stacey, but I haven't, I, yeah, I, I didn't really watch it that much. Right, have a look in here. I know there's people that actually do uh, Gavin and Stacey, Gavin and Stacey like um, trips around. Uncle Bat Bryn, Bryn is it? Yeah, a lot. We've got bird poo on my shoulder, Nessa. Good old Nessa. We've got merch in here as well. Yeah, that's about it, really. So, yeah, we do ice creams in here. Come, come and see Nessa. If you're into Gavin and Stacey, that is. <laughs> Whereas, I'm not. <laughs> so much. Right, we're going to the car now. Uh, we've got some wipes to clean me shoulder. And then we're going some rides. But, yeah, it's, it's all right down here. It's uh, Barry Island. Right, so we're walking back over to Barry Island Pleasure Park now and yeah aerospace it's a hell of a ride <laughs> I mean it towers right above the ferris wheel I suppose if you want good views now you've got to go on aerospace there's no point of going on the ferris wheel that's in, you know unless you don't like spinning and going upside down but yeah if you've never been here before there's loads of good rides um, they've got a couple of well they've got three coasters now so you've got this one at the back of the dragon coaster that used to be at Alton Towers so a lot of people that went to Towers in the 90s and that that was that was there you got um, like one of the sort of wild mouse one of the new ones that they've sort of started doing at the back a log flume this place is open till 8 o'clock every night as well so not too bad free to enter uh, obviously the car park at the back was like three pound for three hours but there's parking all along here um, not a problem really but yeah they're sort of don't know what they're doing with space to get more rising like i said he's getting the uh the ghost train that was at walton pier which is a good one as well really really good ghost train yeah they're doing this as well he's just he was telling me earlier obviously if i've kept it in the vlog Barry Island's Christmas Wonderland, ice skating rink, Barry Island, uh, there's your day, 31st of October to the 3rd of January, make sure to book early, and Halloween as well, fancy dress and fireworks display, so we might come back for this, that's if I'm not in Orlando, um, oh yeah, animatronic dinosaur just here as well, it's alright, they've done really well with this place recently, get your food, might get Tilly a burger, yeah, so uh, let's go on some rides. Only a few though. Yeah, spite. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately it's not ready yet. You can see it's sort of not set up right properly yet. Um, but hopefully by Monday. I don't know where he's got it from, but it's definitely a cred. I've not been, according to Coast account, I've not been on this one yet. Oh well, we'll have to come back again. But yeah, I've just been and cleaned me uh, bird poo off <laughs> i'll be going on the speed in a minute speed 32 yeah 65 meters is aerospace it's massive right go and get some tokens i think 
I won't be going on many rides. <laughs> like the log flume and uh, Henry Dancer's aeroplanes, air, or air, airlines, that's a nice ride. It did have a giant octopus here somewhere, I don't know what he's done with that. But yeah, he owns Treasure Island in Stoutport as well. We have been there and done a vlog from there. And you got Richard Caddle's ghost train, his second ghost train, that's over here. I don't know if Harry, um, Henry, I don't know, I keep saying Harry because his brother's in there. Yeah, Henry down there, I don't know if he owns this one as well. Pretty sure he does, but he's, he's over there. I'll go, I'll go and get me tokens. But yeah, I got sent a VIP ticket for uh, for aerospace. So, uh, oh God, look at it, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'll get some good views up there. Nice, yeah, it's nice here. But that's what I was saying about when we went to um, Leicester, about the um, paint on it, like the green marble effect. It looks the same as, Hen as uh, Richard Caddles. I like the animatronic dinosaurs as well. Yeah, so this was the ticket they actually sent me. VIP one ride for aerospace. They sent me this like quite a while ago, to be honest. And bless him, Paul. It's just, like, um, it just gave me three tokens to go on the ghost train. I said, I like the ghost. Yeah, it's not Richard Cadell's anymore. He actually, he actually bought this one. Apparently the Duggies are here as well. I've never actually met the Duggies, but uh, yeah, the Duggies have got a very popular YouTube channel. They're here, so I'll go on the ghost train first, and then I'll do aerospace, and I think that's it. Like I said, we'll probably be back later in the year to do a full vlog, maybe come when they uh, do the Halloween event, because it's something new, something different. We've not done that one before, but they've got plenty of rides here. I've been on everything that's here, pretty much. Um, so I'll do a... Oh, all that charity is yeah. going on there now. Yeah, is it? They're, they're on there. Oh, they're going on there now. All oh, right, I'll go and do that all first. All right, they're on there now. All right, they're on there. All the charity people are there. Oh, so doing a charity. Shirt. This is for Asda. You know the Asda. market? Yeah. We're doing a, cha we're doing a, for, um, a charity for All oh, right, okay, I'll go, I'll go over now. Thank you. <laughs> I'll leave my bag with Lisa. <laughs> right. Not sure, I think they're about to send it. I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's seven tokens for this. It's absolutely massive. Yeah, apparently the Duggars are on here, but I've never met them before, so I don't know what it looks like. I don't think I watched. Oh no, it's, it's come back down. Where's the entrance? I think it's here. Yeah, brand new machine from KMG. Alright. Yeah, get some good views. <laughs> Where's the entrance? Oh, it's here. Yeah, looking forward to this, I think. <laughs> like I said, I did the one that was at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland and it was alright. I sort of pooped my pants for a bit, but then it wasn't it was it wasn't that forceful. Although I did Infinity at Dusseldorf, Ryan Kermis, and well, I didn't like that at all. I started to feel really sick on that. But uh, hopefully this one's pretty good. Right, here's the girl. Let's get on it. Um, unless I give the camera to somebody, you're not getting a POV because I've just done the walk of shame. I can't get on it. It's, it's the, the woman, the young girl there. I had a knee on the thing bouncing it and it just it won't it won't lock. Um, I told you I don't fit on a lot of KMG rides, although I did do the one at High Park Winter Wonderland and there was loads of room but apparently the the, the way they've designed this one, the, the harnesses don't come down that well and I have lost weight so I should fit on it but even yeah there's just I don't know I don't know if other people have struggled to get on it but I mean that that Indian guy's a lot bigger than I am. So well, let's just see what happens. Have you all been on it? Yeah, well, I'm just watching because I'm just watching because that Indian guy's bigger than me. Let's see what happens. Okay, we've we done it for a work thing. Too, yeah, yeah. So the, the charity. Yeah, table pink. Yeah. Are the doggies still here? The what? Doggies? Something to do with the doggies or something? I don't know. But yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh well. And, 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 and some are and some are up there now. Well, what do you what do you think? Good ride? It's alright. The the initial part's the worst part. Yeah. <laughs> because, because you go up and it spins you upside down. Yeah. And it sort of, it snaps you back. Yeah, yeah. It snaps you back forward. But when it speeds up you do a full revolution at that point and it does that over and over again. Oh. So it's, it's when you when you've got used to it it's fine. Yeah. Cool. It's, it's <laughs> Yeah. Oh well, I might have to find someone bigger to try and get me in it. So unfortunately, I tried for a second time. I got one of the uh, bigger lads that work here to try and get me on it. I just don't fit on it. I don't know if it's my shoulders, my gut, or what I mean. Like, if you're bigger than me, you're not getting on it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I might have to lose a bit more weight and try and come on it in, um, in like, if we come back next time. But yeah, I'm gonna go on the ghost train anyway. Bit of a shame. I mean, look at the look at the state of the thing. 65 meters. It holds 32 people. Hence the name KMG Speed 32. I mean, there's plenty of videos on YouTube of it already. Because the amount of enthusiasts that got sent that VIP ticket. Again, thank you very much to the park for that ticket. Anyway, you can have it back. I don't fit on it, but yeah, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Right, I'll go on the ghost train anyway. Go on the ghost train, yeah, I got three to is it three for that? Yeah, three. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> just done the ghost train um, yeah it was very good there's a couple of little areas where nothing's not really doing anything or not working but yeah I jumped twice on there I don't know if the camera picked up but there was a giant teddy just right next to the car as you went around the corner that was brilliant that I've never seen that before just a giant teddy but it worked really well and there was a couple of another jump scare in there that was awesome a couple of loads of head ticklers and stuff but uh, yeah that's it that's uh, our afternoon in Barry Island done uh, so we got here we walked down to the uh, pleasure park and um, went on the caterpillar got some chips got pooed on by a seagull tried to get on their brand new ride which i don't fit on i mean that's got to look amazing at night even driving here it looks incredible in the distance it's the tallest ride in the uk i think it pretty much is at the moment the traveling ride anyway 65 meters so yeah remember like i said if you are coming here and you are on the biggest side just be prepared you might not get on it um i'm gonna try and lose a bit more weight especially for florida coming up soon anyway i don't want to go all that way or not get on the rides like i said i did actually lose two stone in the um was it the year after yeah the year after the uh, the lockdown but I've, i put like another stone back on but i've lost another i weighed myself the other day i lost eight pounds so yeah i'm about 18 stone three pounds i think 
But yeah, I have got big shoulders. I always have done on a big chest. But never mind, uh, we'll come back again later in the year. I'll probably come and check out the Halloween event. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> try out the Halloween event as well. But uh, yeah, there you go. I did try and get on it twice. I just, just don't fit on it. Uh, some unfortunate, really. But yeah, there you go. That's another vlog done. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you are coming down to uh, South Wales, don't forget to come and visit Barry Island because it's really nice. You've got your classic rides here. A couple of coat well, there's three. There will be three when that reopens, so we've got to come back to ride that anyway. Aston, you're doing it. And um, yeah, hopefully try and get back on aero, uh, aero space. I'm, 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 I am gutted that I didn't get on it, but there's quite a lot of KMG rides that I've tried to get on and just don't fit on them. Uh, like I said, I did try the one at High Park Winter Wonderland, and I was totally fine on that. But uh, yeah, never mind. Never mind, we'll try again in the future. But uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.